guys. Ah uh, well, today, for the first time for nearly a year, normally I go about three times a year minimum, I'm off to London. Aye. It's like half seven at Eagles Cliff train station. I've, I've not very much sleep because I was kind of excited for today. But uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for the train to go to London. I, I'm vlogging on my camera for the first time, although this is my phone, it's a minute because couldn't be bothered to dig my camera out of my bag. Um, so, and I haven't used this camera in absolute months, so I hope everything goes alright. Have a tour booked of um, the Olympic Stadium, but I guess not till one o'clock. So um, I, to pass the time away, I'm going to head um, over to Brick Lane around Liverpool Street area first. Then head over to Stratford. <laughs> Past some of the time away, I've actually came to just turn music down to Spitalfields Market in Shoreditch. Aye, I've actually done a market stall here myself once um, with you, with uni. Aye, everyone seems to be wearing um, Corona masks. Aye, from the sat where it's like a proper strong pet smell of like some proper sweets. Tea. I um yeah look on this market compared to normally it's a day it's not quite as good it's like well sometimes as days uh, there's a lot of people sell well basically it's an art market but some days they'd have days where they'd have people selling like drawing and all that days for like applied art like jewelry and all that Right, I'm going to head to the good foot, if it's still there, I'm on my way to head now to the good retro football shirt shop. Right at the door, this will scare people off. Do they actually have any proper football shirts in? Yes, they do, at last. Aye, uh, last year they had the uh, wear one from that season in. After Brick Lane, headed along to Bethnal Green, and then I got um, the train over to Stratford, where I headed straight to the Olym Olympic Stadium. <laughs> Arrived now with the um, Olympic Stadium. I, um, I've never stepped foot inside before. So, I've, of course, when we played them back in 2016, it was one game. Well, one of the only five games, unfortunately, couldn't make. 
Right, before I go inside, I'm going to have a bit of a walk around the outside. Aye, right, here, I've got a bit for mass and pieces here. I actually met somebody who um, went to school with Martin Peters once. Ah oh, well, that is the orbit. Um, if ever I get a chance, I might actually go up there one time. Aye, by all these cranes here, it looks like we're doing a rebuild. I'll take a picture, and then in 10 years' time, if I take another one, it'll probably look completely different. Around the stadium, they have history from the glory days, like when they um, beat Arsenal 1-0 in the FA Cup. It's nice to have a walk around the outside of the stadium, as um, it rises from up ground level and get some good views into London, like Canary Wharf here. I'm heading to the stadium store now, and this is where I'm going to check in for my tour at 1pm. Bomber, bomber man. First, start of the tour off in the Royal East Lounge. Aye, this is batch day hospitality, what is worth up to £700 per person on a category A fixture and 500 on a average game. This lounge contains history of um, West Ham United and history of the Olympics, which this stadium was built for back in before 2012. Going out from the Royal East Lounge. I got my first view of the pitch. I'm currently stood is um, where all the, the Royal East fans sit. And I, the seats, are, are half some style. But for 700 quid, I would want it to be somewhat different than your normal plastic seat that you would get at a match. I next we headed downstairs to where the, only the players and officials would normally see. This is the player's entrance, and of course, in every player's entrance, they always have stuff to make the home players feel home, and pictures of ex-West Ham legends. And then next, the most exciting bit of any stadium tour is to see the home players' dressing room. And I, here it is. It's nothing too comfy, because I'm... Um, they don't want to make players too comfy before playing football for 90 minutes. And of course around the corner I've had the baths. I've heard the stories about how muddy these baths used to get in the day. But I, um, yeah. And then the showers as well what you move on to next round here. Um, and also in changing rooms as I didn't actually get I've had the kit room. Um, of course, which you couldn't go in, and massage beds, and information on what place you should eat before playing. And of course, because I'm a Bobber fan, I got a picture next to these two players' shirts. And something you wouldn't, wouldn't normally see on the stadium tour is an indoor running track. This is what the athletes used to warm up on. On your marks, set. Go! And they also next to them have use and bolt starting spots. Next, headed out through the tunnel to the dugout area. Under this carpet here actually runs the other half back running track. Aye. When they get out here, the official running track is below all the carpet where the big West Ham logo is. <laughs> it actually does really echo. Yes, I did have permission to um, 
shouted at the top of my voice to see how much the echo had first play. On a such empty stadium, with only me and the two were guiding, I just had to give it a go. And of course, behind me, I just had to see what it was like to be a manager. And last bit of the tour, they went to the interview rooms. I uh, West Ham have seven interview rooms, which is a required amount to hold a European Cup final. And my final stop was the West Ham Cafe, where I got 15% discount on a cup of tea with my tour ticket. So I won 50 for a cup of tea. I couldn't go wrong. Ah, uh, well of a guided tour. I don't think I'll ever get one like that again. If it was only me and the tour guide on, because I was like the only person who was booked up for one. So, uh, I was the only person, I was just looking at Mr. Jail off my sister. Um, I was the only person booked up for a tour, so I had a whole exclusive guided tour of just me and the friendly guide, Richard. Aye. Honestly, I said this about the Emirates, but this beats the tour of the Emirates. This is the best stadium tour I've been on, of all the ones I've be been on. Right, yeah, I'm off to meet my sister now. The uh, Oxford Street. So, um, if I vlog any more, you'll see it. Ah oh, well, I'm finishing with you off in the pizza, Julie and the King's Cross. I've got a great pizza right up. I've got a pepperoni I'm waiting for. £9.50 for this and a drink. Can't go wrong. Ah oh, well. I've spent um, the time editing this video, and I've edited it, I thought I've missed all editing videos like that. Fortunately, no I won't say fortunately, I'd say I'll probably save a load of money while all, it, all the things I can't do while this corona's going on. So, um, it could be time for much more once all this is over, as long as that would take. But uh, videos from the outs like this, I've missed editing stuff like this. Um, and I stadium tours wise, as I said, yeah, <laughs> I'll never get a guided one, one on one, probably in my life again. I couldn't believe I'll actually add. Um, and believe it or not, it's actually like um, 10 days on now since I, um, I done that to it. Um, I was knackered for the first few, few days, so. Didn't get around to editing the video till about Thursday, just gone. I've probably edited it on about three separate sittings. Um, now, yeah. Um, tell us what you thought of um, how I done that um, commentary of like, um, I videoed bits of the tour and then put the voice on. Tell us what you thought of that. I mean, like, I personally think. That's my favourite way, best way to do a stadium tour because if you want to do a video of it because I'm in the least yeah, I'm walking that keep talking to your camera about it. But uh, yeah, of course for London, there'll be no trips there for a while because it's, um, well, Corona capital of the UK. But I, uh, the fact of still uh, people coming on the underground doesn't help and of course that to close all cafes and all that so I think what has worked on my side of the corona bit is like I've been out of the house much less since like the, obviously because we've closed cafes so there's nowhere for me to go and have a sit down of course that's what I wanted to do really have people's less intention to go out less often ah uh, well anyhow guys on a more positive note, please drop a like, subscribe and goodbye.